Hey, what is up everyone, Sword Slash here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can randomize your Pokemon game so the wild Pokemon can be completely random in the wild and a bunch more other stuff. And I do have my baby sister here with me, so if you can hear her in the background, um, you might hear her in the background. But anyway, so what you're going to do is you're going to download this uh, app called Pokemon Randomizer. I'll put it in the description down below so you guys can go ahead and download that. And uh, you may need Renoir to extract this. So I'll, I'll, put, I'll go ahead and put the Renoir in the description down below so you guys can go ahead and download that. But anyway, once you have downloaded the Pokemon ran Randomizer, you're just going to open up the folder and you're going to see this randomizer. You're going to click that. It may take a while to load up. Don't no worry. But once, you, once it opens up, you're going to get like this little box. Anyway, to the right, you're going to click Open ROM. And you're gonna go like search the files in your laptop where your uh, your Pokemon ROM game is. So I have mine in my extra folder and in my ROMs. So um so the, and the two games at the top, the Pokemon Soul Server version US and the Pokemon Soul Server U uh, Xenophobia, those are the two normal Pokemon games, the standard Pokemon games. So you're just gonna find this the standard Pokemon game you want. The two at the bottom are the randomized with the Soul Silver. I mean with the randomizer, because you could do like some tweaks to them. But anyway, so you, once you have your game loaded up, you're gonna get a random Pokemon. It doesn't really, that doesn't really do anything. But in this randomizer, you can change the Pokemon traits. You can change the starters, the statistics, and the trades. You can change the moves and move sets, the trainer Pokemon, wild Pokemon teams and HMs, the field items, and the mystery lens tweets. But anyway, in the Pokemon traits, you can change the um, the stats of the Pokemon. So like the HP and attack and special defense and special attack, you can completely randomize them or you can shuffle them. It's up to you. You can do a whole bunch of stuff with this randomizer. You can also change the Pokemon types. So like a fire type can be water type if you want that. But anyway, in the starters and statistics and trades, you can go ahead and have custom starter Pokemon. So you can pick any starter Pokemon you want. Um, yeah, so you can have three of the any starter Pokemon you want, or you can have random completely, so it's randomly generated three random Pokemon starters that you can have. Um, or you could have ra random uh, with a Pokemon with at least three evolutions. So like the normal, like, yeah, normal Pokemon that have three evolutions. But you're always going to get the base first evolution. But yeah, in the static Pokemon, uh, I right here, where the random legendary to legendary and normal to normal, I suggest you pick that one over the random completely because the random completely what that one does is where you could get like Lugia in Pokemon Soul Silver where you find Lugia you can actually get a Doug Trio which would not be good so if you have the random legendary to legendary instead of Lugia being there it would be another random legendary but there is still a chance Lugia could be there but it's most likely going to be another random legendary so I suggest having that one over so yeah at least get a legendary instead of getting like a common po normal Pokemon so in the in-game trades, you can change the uh, the trades that uh, the trainers can give you, the NPCs, when they trade Pokemon. You can uh, change those. And in the moves and move sets, you can uh, randomize the move power, the move accuracy, the move PP, the move types, and the move sets of the Pokemon. And you can also have Metromone only, so all Pokemon only have Metromone if you want that. And the trainer Pokemon, you can change the, uh, so the trainer Pokemon and the trainer battles, you can have them set so they're completely random. They have random Pokemons and the uh, the rival at the very beginning of the game. You can have it so he has this set so he carries his start through the whole game. Because every time you encounter him, you have different Pokemon the whole the, Every time you encounter him, just completely random each time. It's never the same. But with that, you can have it at least so like one of them are, you know, normal. And you also have it so the NPCs don't use legendaries as well. You could change the trainer names and the class names. And that's the uh, trainer Pokemon we can do. And then in the wild Pokemon, this is where probably the most part where uh, po where people download the, these Pokemon randomizers. You can you can randomize the wild Pokemon in the wild, so they have so you could get like any type of Pokemon. You could get, you can encounter legendaries in the wild grass. You can encounter any type of Pokemon in the grass. If it's Gen Five and you if it's a Gen Five. And, um, or if you're playing Gen 4, you will not get Gen 5 Pokemon. It's just not in the code, because it's in the past, you know? Yeah, but, and then in the TMs and HMs, you can also, uh, have every Pokemon can learn any type of HM in the game. Like, any Pokemon can learn Surf, Fly, anything like that. And the TM and HM capability, you can have them so they learn all uh, TM salsa as well. And the move tutors that teach your Pokemon moves, uh, you can have with them teach random moves as well. And the field items, you can shuffle the items around. So in the overworld, the uh, 
the uh, Pokeballs that you can find items, you can either shuffle them, or you can completely randomize, so you can get completely random stuff, and you also, you have the mini option of ban bad items, so you can have, so you don't get the bad stuff. And then the Michigan's tweaks, what you can do is fastest text, so it's like the fastest text ever in like Pokemon you'll ever see, uh, where the text just like appears instantly, you don't have to wait for it to all appear. You can have lowercase Pokemon names, you can randomize the catching Pokemon tutorial, so in the beginning, when they teach you how to catch, they, uh, it just randomizes the Pokemon they catch, but yeah. But once you, once you have your settings all configured up, you can just go to randomize and click save. And go to where you want your ROM to be saved at, and uh, obviously name it. So we're just going to name this random so silver YouTube tutorial or something like that. Uh, sorry, I had to pause right there because my uh, sister was talking to me. Uh, but yeah, so random soul silver tutorial for this uh, YouTube for this YouTube video, as I'm showing you guys. And this is post commentary, not live commentary, but it, is, it doesn't really matter. But anyway, it, so as you can see on the bottom left right there, you can see the random soul silver tutorial. That is the actual game right there. That is everything done. And you can click yes on this, so you can see the starter Pokemon you're gonna get, and all the uh, wild Pokemon that you can encounter in the grass. So once that's done, Soul Silver tutorial. That is the actual game with the actual randomized game, and this random Soul Silver to uh, text uh, in the top in the top left. You can see set starter one, set starter two, set starter three. Gibble, Chim Chimchar, and Bagon. You can basically see the the starter Pokemon. It's gonna give you, and down below you can see all. There's a bunch of text down below, um, but it's just gonna show you all the uh, wild Pokemon you can encounter and what route exactly, uh, everything exactly. But yeah, but thanks for watching my video, guys. But yeah, thanks for watching my YouTube channel.